Welcome to our what I can only describe as the craziest 10 days in Warcraft I've ever had. This video, which serves as the second installation in my new playthrough series, is filled to the brim with insane action, sapper storm, ah uh, yeah, my <laughs> close death encounters, and preposterous luck. Oh my wowzers. So grab some snacks, some pop, and gather around the fireplace to witness one of the most ludicrous sequence of events ever. So enjoy my friends. So as the more experienced some of you had probably guessed what I was sitting at in the last episode, I finally got around to making a reforging table. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is gonna be so cramped, but I don't even care. And having access to one of those in less than 10 days was quite massive to me, considering how unlucky the initial spawn was. Hopefully I have an just about enough iron. Now this should be pretty easy, it's not that hard. Sometimes you just get masterful on your first attempt. As you can see, this is not one of those attempts, but you gotta keep the spirit side. Yeah, as you can see in the beginning, my luck was not in my favor. That's very expensive. Uh, maybe now. Yep, you'd love to see it. But then, what I can only describe as all the parallel universes either colliding with each other or aligning in some magical way, but it was the beginning of the golden age. Yep, 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 yep. you love to see it. This is what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can get legendary on a skirt. Uh, I wasted so much. No, you can't. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this is very good. So I already have a masterful uh, suit of iron. Jesus Christ. There it is. Let's get this guy going. The first attempt. This, this is what you love to see. Seriously. Come on. This is a blessed run. Jesus Christ. Let's call this day, which is day 9 believe it or not, the Great Reforging Day. As not only it provided this run with masterful armor and which was crucial to keeping me afloat later down the line, but also gave me 3 extra hearts before I even had diamond armor. 3 heart, uh, 3 extra hearts already. So it's time to equip this, this good armor I think. God damn it, I forgot that I don't have the levels. The XP method I went for to get the last piece of XP that I needed was one of the methods I mentioned in my Aerocraft guide video. If you haven't seen it already, a card should pop up right about now. Anyway, I went for the Battle Tower Cheese Strat. Now, I don't have a boat. Oh, I have a boat. God fucking damn. Give me that. Give me that XP now. I'm gonna go home now apparently. No, I'm not I'm not doing that. Okay. Hey, hey, give me that XP. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Attack. Oh, it's so low. And just like that, day 10, and I already had a full masterful set of iron armor. Nuts. There we go. There we go. Not yet. So now I should have good protection, uh, jump boost, and speed, and step height, which is oh, so useful. Hey, 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 my village. I'm gonna do this cartoon style. Just seal it off with bricks. There we go. I started off day 11 by doing some travel preparations. Next, I will need a better shield. And then I took a quick detour to explore the village and put my extended agricultural knowledge to use. Let's go out the good old farm. We got some, uh, we have some potatoes. Uh, I mean tomatoes. <laughs> oh, 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 hello. That's pretty good. And then I finally took off exploring. And uh, I, I asked you all uh, for a name to give this horse a name. Wait, that makes no sense. So I asked you in the last video, uh, what uh, name I should give this guy. Uh, there was only one suggestion and it was something uh, along the lines of leather because that's all I'm gonna use for when he dies. But I'm not gonna name it that for no reason because uh, and that reason is this guy is never dying. If this guy dies I die too so uh, that's the only reason I'm not uh, giving this horse that name. Thank you for the suggestion but I think I'm gonna call, call this guy uh, a hot dog buddy or something like that. It, it, it's good enough. Hot dog. 
<laughs> I don't like that. Fruitless endeavor that this trip was. Not only did I not find anything, but also... Oh fuck, I don't have a sleeping bag. Some improvisation later. Keep quick. Nighttime, man. Oh no. Let's go. It's an invisible bubble machine. Hey, no, it's visible. <laughs> Why is this guy so small? Okay, no, I'm not gonna get distracted. I'm gonna get killed. So, this guy has got maxed out agility. Now, what if I, Speaking of agility, bump this bad Larry up. Hey, snake. Hey, how much health could a small uh, snake have? This guy's gonna drop like. One morsel of a scale. Hey, I'm gonna drown. Two scales. Okay, well. <sighs> a rather dry source of sea serpent scales, but only did I know that it was the beginning of the extensive sea serpent saga. I suppose I did get enough scales to cover a small pencil. Hot dog. Wait a second, I know what this is. This is the place that I spawned. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, and there's a dragon. Good thing I got these wooden buttons in my ears. And so my great ocean travels began. Didn't last long, for now. Welcome surprise, for sure. Maybe a big library too. I'm not getting very lucky with those, am I? Hot dog! Okay. So I just put the city on the map and got back home to craft a new ring. Okay. Usage and ba-boom. Pretty useless for now, but speed is still good. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Hey, you're looking real good, my man. Did some chest and crate management and got back on the road. Found a new village after a good amount of traveling, which I swiftly dubbed the worst village ever. Here is why. No shot, this place also doesn't have a big library. Well, uh, I guess I was wrong. I doesn't have one. This is <laughs> might be the worst village ever actually. There is no blacksmith, there is no big library, there's not the worst big library. This place has absolutely nothing. Oh this fucking cuck. Oh no. <laughs> Yabba haba dabba do Gonna kill the horse? Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> yeah, a new village, okay. Although I will mark this place on the map, just... Okay, well, I guess I gotta go in the water. I'm not gonna go in the water, hot dog. <laughs> Playing a dangerous game right now. Uh, I cannot tell you how many r runs I've ruined by trying to uh, lure a uh, sea serpent onto land. Hot dog, another one. <laughs> no fucking shot, this is happening right now. <laughs> Hello? If this guy would even sneeze, that would probably kill me. Good thing this uh, tree of uh, canonical importance is there. Hey, uh, hey, not too bad. It's only day 14 and I had already downed two sea serpents. It was hard to believe even at that moment. I just pray you fucking cool. Even though I knew it was kind of dangerous to go back into the water because there was at least one more sea serpent around, I still did it anyway. There wasn't much stopping me. God, this is stress inducing. Oh, uh, ho ho, hello. Sap of your storm, ah, uh, yeah, maha. Uh -huh. Die, bitch. Hey, that's not too bad. Oh, he here. Okay, I will. I don't want to be on that side, though. That seems like a terrible idea. And that right there was probably one of the best decisions I've ever had in a Rallcraft. This legendary run could have ended right here. You shall see why soon. So it's the sun setting, I'm not gonna go out into the ocean. That's a pro tip for you, actually. Don't go into the sea at night when you're under geared, because the amount of mobs that spawn in end up 
ground and above water is uh, a pelican. Wow. Pro tip, don't panic when you're doing this. Uh, don't go the horse. You fucking, what, you crazy. Hey, this guy, hey, you, you're a land walker or something? That was a close call. I, I honestly got like that. I didn't get hit in the head. Pure luck on that one. At least I got a, a decent amount of scales, but wow. Yeah, don't panic. I survived by pure luck. This is essentially gambling, but bro. Oh no. This is gonna be close. Please just, just get to the land. <laughs> wow. Wow. There were two serpent, sea serpents right next to me. But this is a good biome. Uh, mobs don't spawn here. Hot dog. Why are you guys not fighting him? Hey, 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 hey. What, what's happening now? You, you, do you need a wake up call or something? So I just cheesed the pirates and then the sea serpent. It, it took a while, but I got there in the end. Dog. <laughs> 11 scales, okay, yeah. Oh, okay. So I went back to the island to look for a waystone one last time. And while I was at it. Wow, this guy is one of the bigger ones, too. Yeah, just stay there. I'm fine, actually. If I die now, I fucking quit this shit game. There they are. <laughs> uh, I can already make a sea serpent armor. <laughs> It's like day 50 or something and I can already make sea serpent armor. Are you guys gonna come to me or do I have to pick up the loot from all the way here? Hey. Oh yeah. No fucking shot. One last time. I promise. I promise. He's back. Don't panic. I'm panicking. Look at these scales. Wow. I mean, wow, <laughs> this is what I mean. I'm gonna run out of arrows before I run out of fucking sea serpents to, to cheese. Six sea serpents down by day 16. I am still speechless, honestly. I picked up these shiny scales and went to sleep on the island again. As I thought that my luck on this magical world had reached its absolute highest point, I ran into this bed, Larry. This is the place I've been looking for. This already amazing uh, run uh, has got even more amazing, unless there is a dragon. And holy fuck, you've just gotta see this. So this is what you do when you find the structure, okay? And look for the chests that are in front of windows. Break the window. You're not gonna get seen, it. it's okay. And just loot all the uh, chests like this. I'll tell uh, you why this could be a good idea. I found Supreme Sharpness 5 on a brand new run once. I'm not kidding. Brand new run? I didn't even have stone tools yet. Hopefully I, I can... I... Look at this. Double ch Oh my, wow, this double jump, spikes three, atomic deconstructor two on a basically brand new run. It's, it's astounding. I put the tower on the map and venture on. Okay. I found a village that surprisingly had a big library. <laughs> big library, please don't, please tell me there's no dragons. Not only that, but it also had a cheaper version of the big library. So I was quite set with emeralds and XP. However, no books or trades were of significance. That's fine with me though. This run has blessed me beyond belief already. I decided to meander around the rest of the village before I left. And as if the run wasn't good enough already, I found two more librarians to trade with. Absolute nuts. So as I was out of books to trade with the second outside the library librarian, I decided to bump up some tunes and went to town breaking all the bookshelves in the other big library. And as I thought this world couldn't possibly get any better, it fucking did.